Hi, I'm Malcolm Porter, consultant to the CMA's Public Policy Committee. This is our update for the second quarter in 2019. CMA has a public policy committee that is chaired by Drs. Bill Cotton and Stephanie Costa, and they would want you to know that any CMA physician is welcome to be a part uh, of our public policy work and this committee if you are interested. The Ohio General Assembly operates on a two-year cycle beginning in January uh, of this year and will go through until December of next year. It's helpful to have some context for how the flow of legislation occurs during that two-year period. Right now, Governor DeWine has just introduced his biennial budget, and between now and June 30th of this year, the legislature will be focused on getting that budget passed. However, in addition to the budget, they do begin to do work on other topics, and we're going to talk about some of those topics that affect physicians, their patients, and the practice of medicine as well. Two items that are in the budget that I want to mention for you. Uh, first uh, is Medicaid expansion, uh, a topic of some controversy. Uh, and you may be aware that in Washington, D.C., there are those who want to still work to repeal the provisions of so-called Obamacare uh, that was passed several years ago. However, in Ohio, uh, Medicaid expansion seems to have a, a political majority at this point. So at least that portion uh, of the provisions of Obamacare seem likely at this point uh, to be maintained. The Ohio budget is a, a large document with lots of policy implications, one of which that is included uh, in this governor's proposal has to do with insurance uh, coverage for telemedicine. This is a provision that physicians largely are supportive of. Folks in the business community have some concerns about cost implications of requiring telemedicine to be covered in Ohio regulated insurance plans. So uh, time will tell as the legislative process goes forward uh, on whether that provision uh, is maintained. There are a couple of issues to, to bring to your attention that don't have formal bills at this point, but are beginning to get a, a fair amount of discussion. The first is price transparency. This is an issue that all parties would agree is a good thing uh, in our form of uh, private-based insurance. The challenge becomes in figuring out how to implement uh, physicians generally believe that insurance companies have the most important information to be able to share with patients uh, about ultimately what's going to be the cost to the patient because physicians don't have access to the details uh, of health plan contracts. The health plans would prefer that physicians be on point uh, and be the ones to be communicating uh, with their patients. So discussions are ongoing about how we might try to find some uh, way to, to bring some increased level of price transparency uh, to Ohio. There are a number of legislators that have a particular interest in this who are in the majority party and in leadership, uh, and so this is an issue that's not going to go away. The other area that there's a fair amount of conversation about has to do with out-of-network um, billing and uh, this seems to be focused mostly around situations where patients are in an emergency care situation and don't have choice uh, to do due diligence to uh, figure out if the providers that they are being treated by uh, are in their insurance network coverage. Um, there are lots of ideas floating around right now around trying to bring some sort of structure around average payments for a region or payments based on Medicare or Medicaid rates. Um, lots more yet to come uh, on those issues. It wouldn't be uh, a time in the General Assembly if there weren't scope of practice issues, uh, and this year is no different. Um, there are uh, a number of healthcare professionals who are interested in expanding and changing their scope of practice. You should know that for the most part, physicians have tended to be, um, in recent times, supportive of scope changes as long as those changes in the scopes are done in the context of uh, having a team approach to providing patient care. 
This year, there are some proposals from CRNAs and APRNs that, at least at this point, do not seem to recognize a physician leadership role in a team <clears throat> approach. And so I think there's likely to be uh, some continued opposition. The other uh, um, health care provider of note are psychologists who are interested in expanding to include uh, some prescriptive authority and uh, we have concerns uh, about the way that that's being discussed at this point. Before leaving legislative topics, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk for a minute about the recently passed heartbeat bill. Abortion is one of the most controversial issues in America, and it's no surprise physicians do not have a uniform opinion on this. However, what's emerged at the CMA in recent times has been some common ground around the idea that policy should be evidence-based and that physicians' behavior that is consistent with the standard of care for their specialty should not be criminalized. The CMA supports evidence-based policy and opposes criminalization provisions. The heartbeat bill is now in the courts and likely headed to the United States Supreme Court. It's been the strategy and hope of the proponents all along that this would be a model piece of legislation for the U.S. Supreme Court to consider uh, the case of Roe versus Wade. Many are concerned about the implications of the passage of this bill, uh, particularly on attracting younger physicians and the climate of health care provision in Ohio. Uh, only time will tell uh, as we see how this plays out. My one final uh, comment uh, for folks is to issue an invitation to participate in our program uh, that we have of one-on-one -on -one meetings with Franklin County legislators. We uh, welcome any doctor from the area of Central Ohio to be a part of our group that usually sits down and has a small informal breakfast um, as a part of building relationships and, and having informal conversation uh, around issues that are in the legislature. If any of this captures your interest, again, Drs. Cotton and Costa would welcome your participation uh, in our committee anytime that we're doing our work. Thank you.